Greetings again, YouTube. It is Minutes on the Sun. I'm here hanging out with uh, some 28 millimeter uh, bolt action terrain that I'm making. Um, it's my usual bricks. I always kind of favored the foam core with one end or one paper side torn off, and then you carve the bricks. I've kind of adopted a new technique. As you can see, these windows. Um, I drew them in paint, paint shop, just Microsoft Paint, and then I print them out, cut them out, and boom, there you go. Keeps everything the same size, and, and also the bricks themselves were also uh, printed, um, and then just glued to one end of, or one, why do I keep saying one end? You peel the uh, the paper side of the foam core, and then uh, a thin layer of PVA glue, and you glue the, the regular printer paper right onto the foam core, and then I I uh, cut the bricks out with a sharp hobby knife, and then this will peel right off the foam, really easy. And if it doesn't, you just wet it a little bit, and it comes right off. And then you've got your, your uh, perfect size bricks all evenly spaced and and perfect and when I did this the um, I printed this as I drew the whole wall I drew the uh, the doorway the windows and everything else and then just printed it out and cut it out very simple and so the corners of the buildings you know foam core bothers me when you know a lot that's one thing that bothers me about a lot of scratch built terrain is the wind that it's it's hard to find a way to make the corners line up and look good so I've just uh, this is kind of hard to explain underneath this this is plaster or uh, joint compound regular wall filler not not the flex all kind just regular wall filler um, underneath here are Square pieces of thick card, kind of like the uh, the cardboard that's on the back of a notepad. It's kind of thick card paper. They're cut into even squares and uh, glued. You know, little one, big one, little one, big one, all the way up on both sides. And then I just fill it in and then uh, carve the bricks one by one. And they're basically, you know, two brick heights for each of the corner bricks. It's a little time consuming, but it'll, it's a good effect. And b before the the um, the spackle dries, I kind of run my finger on it and kind of flatten it out. The stone texture, like, it works pretty good my opinion and there's one finished window um, the window frames themselves will also be uh, plaster textured and there's a side door also printed out I just printed out the uh, the door itself and then cut it out kind of layered the paper and gave it a you know, looks like wood and then I um, while the paper was still glued onto the card I uh, just kind of drew the wood grain in with a with a ballpoint pen, just pushed really hard down into the paper, and it worked out. So this was kind of just testing. Here's also testing my. Uh, I haven't painted any terrain in a really long time, and uh, none of this was dry brushes. It's all kind of done with washing. I guess that's the way to paint terrain with washes so this is this will be done eventually I need to make a roof and a, a chimney as well see the, this peak is not pointed because it's gonna have a, a chimney but I gotta print it <laughs> so the next building I'm making is um, not gonna have the corner pieces I came up with a better idea since um, the bricks are all perfect, you know, not, they're not perfect, but, I mean, they're all the same size, then I figured 
this little technique. This is just you know foam core, and then you cut the shit out, and you get them to meet up. And then once this is kind of gooped and and uh, textured a little more. Oh, well, that's another thing I should mention about texturing this stuff. Once the foam, once you've got one end, <laughs> I said it again, one end. <laughs> Jeez. Once you got one side of the foam core peeled off and you're just down to the foam, I took a cork and uh, glued a bunch of gritty sand onto it. You know, rocks, little pieces of rocks, different sizes. And then you just kind of smash it and roll it along the foam and it leaves nice little you know you do it a couple times however you know however long it takes to get it to look nice and nice and stony yeah so yeah we'll, we'll see how this works out I've never tried this this is the first but I think it's gonna work out see? pretty bitchin See if you can see the scene if I made it just straight. See how the scene kind of disappears? Pretty cool technique. I think I'm going to stick with it and build some shit. And then I'll fill it with Nazis to kill. Alright, till next time.